Yo, how's it going, all you amazing people? It is your guy, Jovial here. And now, I don't know if you sexy people have noticed, but Fall Guys has taken the world by storm. And when I mean by storm, I mean by, like, a tsunami. And when I mean, like, by a tsunami, I mean, like, there's a million players on the flipping game. Okay, bro? Okay, bro? Okay, facts is, dude, everybody is playing Fall Guys right now, and everybody is trying to win Fall Guys. So the competition is getting pretty rough. But if you do the math... And do the statistics. You see that 98% of the players are just trash and have no idea how to win. And 2% actually got some skill and can win almost every single time. Now, I don't want to brag or anything. But your boy Jovial is probably in that top 2%. Because I got secrets on secrets on how to win almost every single game of Fall Guys you play. Right now, you're probably winning one game every 20 to 30 matches. Maybe not even that, bro. You could be like Tim the Tap Man and play 300 games before you even win one. But your boy Jovial, dude, I'm gonna teach you how to win at least once every, let's say three to five games with these things I'm about to show you. Now, first, the thing you're gonna have to do for me to show you this is obviously smack that subscribe button, join the bread squad. You know the best squad on the internet, baby. We always get that bread, baby. And if you if you want to get that bread and fall, guys, you obviously have to smack that subscribe button. Okay, my headphones just off that was awkward also also low key though if you could if you could hit that like button for me too since like i'm making you this video and i'm like sharing my secrets with you it'd be epic honestly honestly you can hit dislike too like make it the most disliked video i don't give a fuck just hit one of the buttons like honestly i don't care just make sure you hit the buttons and hit the subscribe button i don't care just do something okay can we just get on to the video boys so we are going to cover several things in this video can i just mention that i spit all over my mic but that has nothing to do with this i i just screamed a lot okay back 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 to topic i know you guys want to know so we're going to cover several topics through the video and then at the end of this i'm going to show you guys the best way to win all the finals aka like the main two finals you get there's like i think four finals in the whole game but you basically get the same two which is hexagon and fall mountain and 99 percent of the time like i've i've gotten the other finals like one time so i'm not really going to cover those ones because those you know you usually never get i'm gonna cover hexagon though like a hundred percent win rate dude every time you do this in hexagon i promise you you will win also with fall mountain so easy to win with what i'm gonna show you but first let's get into the like you know little things i want to tell you first so for the very very first thing before you even start a match boys before you hit that play button and start falling my guys you need to know one thing and that thing is to always keep a positive mindset. Now, say you played 10 games in a row, and you've lost 10 times in a row, and now you're just kind of depressed, and you're just playing for hope. You're just hoping you're gonna win. Nah, bro. You can't play like that. I'm telling you right now, if you lost 10 games in a row, and you're feeling bad, take a breather, get up, go take a dump or something, get you some coffee, get some energy in you, and then come back to the game, and focus, and be like, look, bro, my mindset is so good right now. I'm gonna slam, kids. I'm gonna make these jumps i'm gonna get that crown and i'm gonna get the dub because that's what you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to have a happy mindset or ain't nothing gonna go your way fam if you're on oh, no, why lose all the time anyway i'm not gonna win anyway well then you're obviously not gonna win because i know a guy like that <coughs> connor Con 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 connor if you know who connor is you gotta watch my old videos he's like in every single one connor is the most depressing guy i've ever met dude every game we play he's like well i'm not good enough i'm not this and then he's never good enough because he always says he's not good enough. Okay, I threw my headset off again. Sorry about that. Faxes have a positive mindset and I guarantee you're going to win way more than you ever did. Now we're going to move over on to smarts, dude. You got to have some smarts. When you're playing a game like Fall Guys, yeah, okay, the majority of it's luck, like 95% of it's pure luck, but in some of these, like the single player game modes, it's smarts, okay? I'm not, I'm not talking about Telltag or anything. I'm talking about, for example, Whirly Gig, okay? You got to, you got to get your your timing right if you get your timing right you will win every single one of these it's not like that doordash game where everybody's trampling you that's completely different there is no smart you either get trampled and you're in last or you don't get trampled and you're not in last like this game is very very luck based but on some of these challenges you can use your smarts and that's exactly what i'm going to show you at the end of the video with hexagon and fall mountain 
there's a super smart way to go where you win every single time. If you really take a look at the game, sit back for a second and stop focusing on what everybody else is doing and pay attention to what you're doing and pay attention to your paths and pick the faster path and do what you need to do to win, using your smart cool brain powers will make you win much more than Ed just running through it, hoping. Trust me, if you want to win at this game, you got to pay attention a tad bit more than you're paying attention right now. I get it. I get it, bro. A whole bunch of five-year-olds is playing the game, and you don't want to be smart against them, but trust me, dude. You want those crowns? You want those skins? Then you're going to need to do it, and holy Christ, dude. I just spit all over my monitor. This is this is just not going my, my, my way today. Now for the next thing, we're going to talk about team play aka teammates aka garbage cans okay so basically you guys know that fall guys has this matchmaking system thingy where you get thrown into a game with a whole bunch of random players and you don't get to pick who's on your team and it kind of sucks but here is a good thing okay you can have at least four people on your team if you know invite three other players to play with you that's four of you in a squad now is this going to help you out a ton when it comes to the team games of course dude team tell tag the soccer ball game what is it fall ball whatever it is egg snatch what i don't know what it's called bro egg scramble i think okay when you have four players yes it is going to help you a ton so i do suggest invite a couple friends you will have way more fun than you do playing by yourself but here comes the issue when you guys want to win and you want that crown Almost, it, basically every single one of the finals aren't team-based, so you're gonna go up against your teammates. And the problem is, if they all watch this video and you're all in the final together, it's super hard to win. Like, me and one of my teammates, we both know these tricks on the finals, so it's either he's gonna win or I'm gonna win. And then if we both do the same trick, it messes us up and we both get eliminated it, and you guys are gonna see what I mean because it just jacks everything up. So, out of sense, play with your teammates, but communicate beforehand who's gonna win at the end especially if you, all you guys make it to the finals because like it's gonna be very especially hexagon fall mountain's kind of different you guys can race for that one i think that's more fair but on hexagon dude the strategy i'm gonna show you only one person can do if more than one person does it both of you are gonna get eliminated i guarantee that so kind of communicate on that especially if it's hexagon one more thing i wanted to mention before i show you guys the finals though just have fun with the game honestly guys if you're watching this video to be a super sweaty guy who wants to win every single match eh, don't take it that way boys all right it's not like it's a competitive game you know there's no esports yet when we get the esports then we can play the game without having fun and just crashing on noobs okay but still have fun at the end of the day it is a very fun game don't get mad if you're not winning games dude it's fall guys it's a super fun party game for you and your friends so definitely do invite your friends to play with you i uh, trust me i've never had so much fun in the game before it's like such a stress relieving game so don't get stressed out when you're not winning but okay okay i think it's been long enough i'll show you guys the little secrets on finals you lucky little rascals you we are going to start with the hexagon final and then we will move to fall mountain but but i'm about to show you guys this so you have to make sure you smack that subscribe button okay boys and remember like or dislike i don't really give a fuck just do one of them okay now, now i'm gonna show you my secrets but if you know this and you come into a game with me and you ruin this for me dude trust me i'm coming for you bro i'm coming okay okay first off for hexagon I'm, the, I'm gonna break it down for a bit with a couple screenshots here probably i don't know i'm recording this before the editing we don't know how it's gonna go okay but if taxes i'm gonna break it down so with hexagon the thing you are gonna want to do as uh, you're probably watching here i probably have it on the screen i don't know dude this is past self going to future self editing i don't know what's happening right now okay i am falling as you see here falling down each one of these paths until i get to the very bottom blue one okay once you're at the very bottom now trust me wh wh why would i want to go to the bottom first why the heck would i want to drop all the way down to the bottom and almost lose first well shut the fuck up and pay attention okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and you are going to start in the very middle and you're going to start running circles in the middle making the hole bigger and bigger and bigger and what's happening is you're creating this giant hole in the middle so everybody above you who's falling down is instantly gonna get eliminated they're not gonna have that last round and trust me you might think well what if i run out of tiles before everybody gets down here not once not once have I ever played and ran out of tiles before they all fall. It's weird, but trust me, they will all fall before you run out of tiles. 
So you keep doing that and doing that and doing that and they keep falling in the middle. So eventually some might fall on the sides and this is where it gets kind of tricky because you're going to have to block them off and make sure they run out of tiles. So you're kind of going to have to use your smarts and figure that one out. That's honestly not too hard. But when you get to a certain point where you know basically the giant hole in the map is big enough and you are going to run out of tiles in your mind because other people are you know either on the same platform or the run right above you that's when you just start hopping do not run anymore hop to one tile to the other tile to the other tile to the other tile to the other tile and pay attention when you're doing this because say your path gets cut off and you have to make a big leap to another tile you don't want that tile too far away so it does kind of come in smarts but it's easier than it sounds honestly by watching it i probably you guys probably think it's easier what i'm doing right now just try to like kind of use your smarts but just make sure you make the giant hole in the middle and it's going to be a Extremely easy. You're only gonna have one or two guys to face instead of all 11 guys. So do that every single time, and I promise you, you will go from losing every time to winning 99% of the time. Like, I never lose Hexagon anymore. So now it's for the top, topity, tippity, top, the crown master fall mountain now look i'm gonna say this right off the bat there is one path you can go that is faster but way more dangerous and there is one fast path that you can go which is like a millisecond solar but not dangerous at all and i suggest going this path now if you guys want to you can go left side all the way and left side is faster it is facts that that side is much faster than the right side the problem with left side though you can't really dodge anything as well on the right side now you guys are gonna watch me go right side and as you see when you go through this uh pathway you want to go through the middle right here the middle right one because that's the one that balls less come through out of all of them just balls seem to never come through that path as much then you're gonna use these little diamonds right here to kind of hide behind the balls that come through and then you want to make your way all the way to that right wall and you're gonna hug that wall the whole entire time up the path and what that does is you dodge the hammer as you probably just saw me dodge the hammer and then you're able to jump up dodge the other hammer and go right for the crown now if you do this on the left side which i'm probably not going to show you it basically you can't okay if you hug the left wall you still get hit by the hammer there's no gap there that's why the right side is always safer even though the left side is faster so if you always take the right side boys my okay i used to never win fall mountain fall mountain was the one i just couldn't win now i win it every single time i'm not kidding every single time if i do not mess up and get hit by a ball or something you win fall mountain every single time by doing this so go right side every single time and i guarantee you guys will be fall guys masters in no time all right boys i think that brings us to the end of our journey i basically showed you guys everything i know about the game fall guys as of this point now if they add some updates i might make a future video or even if you guys want me to i can make like videos breaking down each game mode if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below i'd love to talk to you guys also if you insult anything i did in this video i'm going to insult you i love you though but yes I, i'm not i'm not a baby bubble blowing baby butt is that the thing in spongebob i don't flipping know boys i love you all and i will see you sexy ones in the next one